internationally, you're the champions of Europe, and have Chelsea done it in their typical style? Uh, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I'm lost for words. I think uh, <laughs> we should have probably lost the game with the amount of chance they had, but we said it after Napoli. Uh, if we beat them, we ride our luck. You need luck in this competition, you're going to win it. And today we rode our luck, but we deserved it today. But when you clawed it back and then you had the penalty given against, you must have thought, we've, we've had our luck, we're out of luck. Not really, not really. You know, uh, with, with the players I've got, yeah, we thought, OK, it's a penalty, and but we still had time. We looked at the clock, we still had time left. And when Peter's making great saves like that, we always believed. And for you personally, what does this mean? Twice you've been a loser in finals, now you've finally done it. Now no one can say nothing to me. This is the reason I come in. You said to me, I believe in third time lucky, didn't you? I was right. Well done, Ashley. As one of the best fullbacks of his generation, and you can't disagree with that, can you? He was ahead of his time, and now Ashley Cole has been inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame. He won the title twice with Arsenal, including with the Invincible side, before going on to claim it with Chelsea too. Yes, that was part of a stellar career that included seven FA Cups and the Champions League, all won by a player Cristiano Ronaldo once called his toughest opponent. What a player Ashley Cole was. He was a serial winner, mm -hmm. wasn't he? And that, you know, that quote, we've got Mark McAdam, as you can see, with us now on the uh, sofa. That quote from Cristiano Ronaldo, that is high praise indeed, isn't it? But is he the greatest left-back of all time? Big question, isn't it? Uh, of all time, that is some statement. He's in the conversation. It depends how we're measuring it as well. Yeah, he's, he's definitely in the won. conversation. Yeah, how do you measure how good mm -hmm. someone is? Is it about what they've won domestically, what they've mm -hmm. won internationally? Uh, you know, that kind of stuff, how many, how many games they've played, you know, and so on and so forth. No question, he is one of the greatest left-backs to ever grace the Premier League. I don't think there's too many people that will question that. But I guess really the question is, Matt, at what level is he one of the great left-backs? Is he the greatest in the world? You look at the list, let's think of the big left-backs. Maldini would certainly be up there. Patrice Evra would be possibly in the conversation. Stuart Pearce... Um, Marcelo yep. at Real Madrid. Five Champions Leagues he's won. Just the five wow. Just the five, <laughs> yeah. He yeah. would be up there as well. Roberto, Roberto Carlos. Carlos, yeah. Another player that was just outstanding and on his day was just simply incredible to watch. I remember watching uh, Soccer Aid train a couple of years ago and it was the year Roberto Carlos played and he was just mesmerising the way he connects with the ball, the way he... He strikes still got it. everything. Yeah, he's still got it. Mm. And he just oozes that kind of aura. Only a small man, but boy, did he have a big stature when he was on the pitch. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, Ashley Cole made his debut for Arsenal back in 1999, November, uh, in the League Cup against Middlesbrough. And to think that he'd go on and achieve the success he did was phenomenal. Let's take a look at what he won during his career because no question his trophy cabinet at home is littered with silverware, three Premier Leagues, seven FA Cups. Tell me someone that's won more FA Cups than Ashley Cole. You'll be waiting a long time. The EFL Cup wants the Champions League and the Europa League. I think that class is as a very, very good career.